It is recording. Fun times. Hey, beautiful creatures. How are you? Thank you for coming back for another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Stevie. I read cards and stuff. Um, I'm also like a cute, cute, and a cute human. <laughs> this is a collective reading for Aries. So if you have Aries in your chart, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever you want. If you're cross watching, welcome. If this just showed up in your feed, there just may be a message for you. And I love you and welcome and all that thing. So uh, can I please have the seven cards for Aries reading, please? Thank you. This one's four. Seven. Cool. Let's do it. Um, so this is a new project. It's fun. I like it. I hope you like it. Let's check out the the theme. That's the, the first one is. Um, Freya, you are worthy. You are loved. So maybe there's like some issues of not feeling those things right now. What is this one? For beautiful Aries. Um, so Aries, you are worthy. You are loved. I feel like that's so crazy because Aries really love themselves a lot of the time. <laughs> um like fire signs right they feel very passionately and usually that's towards themselves but whatever happened has left you feeling unloved unworthy um what's the theme for aries here please and thank you spirit the empress yeah exactly getting back in the empress energy not chasing attracting if there are things that didn't work out for you in the past know that it was not meant for you that there are better things in like that's why that's why it didn't work out for you because there's something better coming um so you need to just move through those feelings um and uh, like allow yourself to release them so that new better thing can come in right so that's the theme here we want to make sure you feel loved feel good about yourself like you look at it, like you've got these two beauty bad bitches as your cards like gorgeous and maybe like familiar it's like maybe spending time with animals right now will make you feel a little bit better because the animals always love you i can tell right now whoever is listening i can tell you're loved um, by animals for sure. You're, you're like, they're human familiar. Um, which is kind of funny. It reminds me, I'm always telling stories about myself. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so when we first moved in, this little dog, this little Yorkie, like, got out and found its way to our house and, like, wouldn't let anybody else touch it. So we just put a sign out front saying, like, hey, if you lost your dog, like, we have it. And, um, its owner came. And then, like, two nights ago, the same dog came, but we couldn't remember what unit it was from. So we did the same thing. Um, but it was just so funny that like it, it, again, it ran like, it like beelined for our house and wouldn't let anybody else touch it. Like somebody had found it first and they're like, Hey, is this your dog? And I'm like, no, but I know <laughs> she lives on the street and, um, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go with anyone else. So it's just so funny that like this dog was just like, mm, good humans live here. I'll go to them. <laughs> I feel like that's you. That's you Aries. Um, so like spend time with animals, let them love you. Like you like, deserve, you know? So, um, that is a theme. How cool and wonderful and beautiful and lovely you are. Your current energy is witch's hat. Express yourself. Share your gifts with the world. So maybe, again, if you're not feeling secure about yourself, it's it's hard to share. I'm going to take this card, too. It's hard to share your gifts with the world because you don't feel like they're a value that you're worthy to. And that's bullshit. It's bullshit, Aries. Every, everyone, like, no one has your medicine. You listening right now. Hey, I'm going to look at the, the lens, not the thingy no one has your medicine and there is someone out there maybe many people who need it you're the cure to whatever it is that is going on in your life it'll be a conversation with you even if it's something they've heard a million times how you deliver it to them that's their medicine that only you have okay so please share that with the world um and your two cards are the nine of swords and the ace of swords yeah so it's like <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i just want to like with the ace of swords here because like okay 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 let's look at this let's look at the cards nine of swords first all the crows right i, I feel like there's wisdom there's like in intuition like you know that there's something there's more for you to do or say but you're insecure there's fears there's all sorts of things that there's kind of like stopping you right so 
I feel like that is what, again, this is your current energy. This is what you're in right now. The fears, the FUD, the uncertainty, doubt. Um, and the Ace of Swords has all these beautiful butterflies. Let me just, there we go. All these beautiful butterflies, a transformation around it. And the roses too, like roses have thorns. They're beautiful flowers, but they hurt sometimes, right? If you're not careful. So I feel like it's, again, your current energy is um, you're learning how to be careful with your own interior thoughts. When you change your inside energy, your outside energy changes, right? And I feel like you're aware of this and you're, and you're currently on the mend of fixing it, right? No one can fix it for you. Only you can do it. But Aries, um, this is really great. It really shows like self, um, like your, your uh, words are gone, but you're doing this for you. You love yourself. You see your worth. I know you do. Um, it's time to, again, show that, express yourself, share your gifts with the world. So energy is working with you right now. True north. Stay true to yourself. Yeah, I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, like these gifts that you're just a little bit too insecure. Because, again, I feel like what if we, if we listen to the advice in this message, because the theme is self-love, if we, if we take in that advice, I feel like whatever it is that you're working on is going to shine so brightly. You're just, I think you're just afraid to, like, put it out there right now but you'll be so incredibly i don't even say surprised because like i feel like a part of you deep knows that it's going to be successful maybe it's a fear of success that you're that's like really the problem right like what happens if it's wildly successful and my whole life changes because like if you were to fail life wouldn't really change that much but what if you were to succeed that's terrifying um I feel like you're starting to be kinder with your words and you're staying true to your, your north, right? What is important to you. And that is, that's really helping. I feel like it's taking you in a really good direction. And, um, again, when you're feeling, when you're starting to like lose that like sense of value in yourself, just connect to that true north again. That'll help you. And we have the page of pentacles and the queen of cups. Yeah. So again, this is something, um, that is like page of pentacles slow and steady wins the race right um well the page is mm, it's weird because i was like talking about it like the knight of pentacles but the page of pentacles is the student and the queen of cups is um like emotions intuitions she's very nourishing and outpour of that um so maybe it's like learning to stay true to your emotions i think that's exactly what it's saying it's a, it's a journey, right? The slow and steady. Now we're talking about the night. Now we're graduating to the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it's always successful. It just takes its time because it builds its its stability, its stature properly from the ground up so that it stands tall for like, it weathers all storms, right? Um, the energy working against you right now is sign. If you're looking for a sign, here it is. So maybe that's what it is. Um... It's like you're asking the universe, you're like, well, if this, whatever it is I'm working on, whatever skill, whatever makes me special, like you, Aries, um, if I'm meant to share it with the world, like, show me a sign. It's like, but there's been so many signs, and I think that you're not listening to them, or, like, you're just ignoring them, and you're like, that wasn't a sign or something. You're like, everybody sees whatever, like, I don't know, whatever it is for you. There is, that's what's working against you right now, you're, you're hesitating. Um, I think Aries, you know, you're the go, go, go Mars, um, ruled sign. So when you're acting out of character, out of your signs character, that is affecting you. That's working against you. And we have the six of wands and the knight of cups. Mm. So again, it's like, what's working against you is like this need for it to be successful right off the bat. And like this outpour of love, maybe like, again, you'll be successful at whatever you do, whatever you put your energy into Aries. Like you're one of those tenacious signs that like, like whatever you focus on should fear you because you will conquer it. Right. So maybe that's kind of, yeah, maybe that's, that's what's holding me back. It's this hesitation. Sorry for burping. I'm so sorry. Energy's moving. Um, but that it's this hesitation that like it needs to be like incredibly seen and incredibly loved from the get go. It's like I don't doubt that it will in any way. Like, I think that's for you. But um, I think it'll be like again with like the, the we were talking about like the Knight of Pentacles. I think it, you're building something that will last the test of times. So it needs to build slow. So what are you manifesting, Diana? Be one with nature. So Diana is. The Roman um, name for Artemis. 
Um, what are you manifesting? Artemis. She's a goddess of the moon, being with nature. She runs with the pack. She leads the pack, honestly. Um, let's get a tarot card. Can we have a tarot card for what Aries is manifesting right now, please? The Ace of Cups. That's so funny because Diana is like the virgin matron and the Ace of Cups kind of makes me think that you're like, mm, maybe it's a new relationship with yourself. Maybe that's what's missing. This self-love, the, the you are worthy, you are loved. Um, this needs to come from me. Oh, this makes so much sense. David Jane, how did you not say it before? Um, it's like what RuPaul says. How the hell are you going to love your, anyone else if you can't love yourself or something like that? Because she's amazing and I can't ever hold a torch to her. But she figured it out. Um, you like this, this love that you're needing. I feel like that's, again, you want to put something into the world and you need it to be loved, but like you need to love and value yourself and what you're putting out into the world before that will ever kind of be reciprocated. Right? So, um, what you're manifesting is this be one with nature. Maybe that's how you start. Maybe take like a solo camping weekend or like a solo night away or just like a walk by yourself, but you're going to like this. I think again, and this Ace of Cups is interesting because usually they're like pouring over and this one's it's to the brim. It's just starting to come over, right? You're just starting this journey of seeing how incredibly beautiful, amazing, talented, brave, kind, smart, brilliant, whatever it is you are, that's you. And you need to see it for yourself. Me sitting here saying all these things mean nothing. You have to see it for yourself. So what are you not seeing? Moonbeam, you're on the right path. So I feel like all of these things um, what you're not seeing is like all of this turmoil that you're facing, this like feeling of not worthy. These are all, I don't want to say tests because they're not tests, but they're, um, they're obstacles that were created for your growth, for your better, like the, the best fit timeline, potential, whatever. These are creating the best version of you. Um, it's creating the strongest, most courageous version of you. So it's really, truly a blessing. Um, you're on the right path. You're doing the right things. Everything's working out. Everything's always working out for you. Everything is always working out for you. Even when it, it doesn't seem like that, it doesn't look like that. That's our human selves putting expectations on things. The universe has, is always going to provide. Nature is always going to provide. Um, I'm going to take this card too. And these are lessons that you need to grow that you, these are lessons that you before even coming to earth wanted to learn so it's uh, one of those things it's a gravity problem you need to learn a lesson here because this is what you came to learn otherwise you're going to be repeating it and feeling in a state of unloved unworthy is terrible that just like crumbles your confidence your your curiosity what you're able to create so finding this is going to really ignite that fiery passion in you again aries and the two tarot cards that came out is the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. So interesting. We have double four, four, four. So let's talk about fours. Um, a number of like your guides being with you. It's an angel number, right? So it's guides being with you, being protected. Um, just like, again, being on the right path. But the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands, I feel like, again, you're building a really great, stable future for yourself with the Four of Wands. You're committing to this beautiful, bright future for yourself. But the Four of Cups is there's something you're not seeing. And I think that's really, truly how incredibly, like, crucial you are to whatever it is you're, you're planning here. How it's really you that that is the pinnacle of this beautiful idea. And I just don't, you're like me, how can it be me? I'm just normal, right? No, Aries, you're everything. You really are. So let's let that sink in for a minute, okay? Take a deep breath with me. You're everything. And lastly, advice, sun, find balance. Yeah, so again, your happiness is coming. You're going towards it. You're facing your true north. That was the energy working with you. It's all coming up, Aries. Um... There's just this, this um, feeling of being tired and overwhelmed probably because like, again, I feel like loving ourselves is sometimes the hardest thing to do if we're not used to it. Um, as a fire sign, it should come a little bit easier, more natural to you. But at the same time, like that's maybe not in your element. Maybe Aries isn't your, your sun sign. Maybe Aries is like, um, I don't know, wherever in your chart, but depending on what our, our chart is and who we are like we feel things differently we look at things differently it's all about perspective so with sun find balance it's like again 
it's like we know you have a lot of responsibilities a lot on your plate right now but take time for yourself even if that's five minutes a day to just like look in the mirror and list five things that you think are great about yourself it could be physical it could be your personality your attributes what you do um but do that and the six of pentacles yeah be willing to give and receive um to yourself i think is mostly the the thing i feel like you take from yourself to give to others a lot and you need to learn how to also give to yourself or allow yourself to receive if anything else like if, if you're not willing to give to yourself right now allow like if you're not willing to like if you're not in the position i don't want to say willing or won't do it because like some people just like can't do it right now that's just where they are um and if you're one of those people that are just like not in a, a state of mind or a position who are who are truly capable of loving themselves right now please allow those close to you and those in your life to like receive that love from them please if nothing else um because that will benefit you in so many ways Aries. I, I don't think i can stress enough how really beautiful and crucial you are to those in, around you and then we have the patron mine our mentorship and finances these beautiful citadel cards so sorry i felt an itch coming so i thought i'd take a drink but with the patron yeah see how these go through his hands like i feel like you sacrifice a lot for like the greater good or like other people and that's beautiful that's such a, an incredible quality that the world needs more of but i do feel like there's like you have like okay because again let's look at this card so like you have hopes and dreams that you're like reaching for but you keep sacrificing yourself to get them but like what's silly is if you only loved and valued yourself give to yourself as much as you gave to others you'd be able to accomplish that and so much more like you'd be able to do it all you just have to do it in the order that spirit's trying to present them to you because again um spirit wants to give us everything we want or like truly deserve so again sometimes we always get what we want it we get what we need and that turns into something we didn't know we wanted something better right um but it's like take care of yourself first and that puts you in a position to take care of everyone better in, in a better way than you you could ever imagine so hopefully that resonates with you aries oh my battery's gonna die let's see if we get oh one message here we go beauty raises my vibration i seek it out for healing and joy so again feeling beautiful looking at beautiful things going for a walk being in nature because you're happy one with nature these are all going to benefit you i love your guts and grows fits aries i love you i love you i love you see you later